Hi, this is Dan, uh, and this is a walkthrough of the ARC-S sample roaster. Uh, it's a roaster with a very specific purpose to roast samples between 100 and 250 grams. First thing that stands out is this is a closed drum sample roaster. Um, it gives you tighter control over your sample roast, so you're not as vulnerable to changes in ambient temperature or humidity uh, in your roasting environment. And it also avoids the problem that happens with open drum sample roasting of evaluating a coffee's color and smell while there's smoke coming out of the front of the drum. The two features that accommodate a closed drum sample roaster is a roast window at the front of the roaster so you can see the beans throughout the roast and a trier just like you would have on a production scale roaster to take beans out and look at their color throughout the roast. The second thing that you'll notice is that it is an independent roaster. Uh, that is a modular design. Most export labs around the world, cooperatives and even larger roasters, are going to need multiple drums to do sample roasting. So this is a ro sample roasting system that grows with you, but continues that individual control over each sample roast. That means you can run one gas line, one power line, and one exhaust line while not compromising your control over each roast. That individual roast control includes drum speed control, airflow control, individual gas control, and even a separate cooling system for each sample. That means that unlike some sample roasters around the world, when you turn on your cooling fan, it does not divert airflow from the drum itself. For those familiar with the ARC 800, the ARC S comes with the same high quality parts and proven intuitive design. That includes, first and foremost, a carbon steel drum, three thermocouples, bean temp, environmental temp, and air in temp, all of which can be tracked with Artisan or Cropster out of the box. It comes with an 8,000 BTU burner, as well as the same heat insulating technology of the ARC 800 that makes this a very efficient sample roaster. There's a very strong cyclone fan, which means no chaff in your roasted coffee, as well as a magnetic chaff bin for easy emptying of the bin in between roasts. Finally, this ARC-S is compatible with 110 or 220 volt, depending on where you are, and ships worldwide like the ARC-8. After the success of the ARC-800 in training labs and teaching environments around the world, we wanted to take that intuitive roasting experience to the ARC-S, which is why we put all of the user interface at the very front of the roaster. That includes all the buttons, the display screen that will show you what your bean environmental and air and temperatures are, as well as where you control the drum speed, airflow, and gas pressure. That way you can keep your attention on the roast, whether you're using one drum or four or five drums. The question I'm most excited to answer is why? Why are we selling this roaster? Why did we design it? Why did we come up with it? Well, for the last 13 years, uh, I've been involved with a part of the industry that I think is often overlooked, but is often one of the most important, which is sample roasting. Sample roasting, at its core, its purpose is to evaluate a coffee's quality, or perhaps better put, its potential. And in that time, I've seen a real need for sample roasters to be more intuitive, so easy to learn and easy to use, more accessible, a sample roaster that we could afford, that our producer partners and roaster partners can afford to be making more informed decisions, and one that is also translatable to sample roast like how the end production roast of a coffee is going to be. I'll speak first to the intuitive part. Most sample roasters you'll find around the world are open drum, and that design came from uh, a need of, in coffee producing countries to have very sturdy, thick metal machines that could hold up well in areas where you didn't have quick access to replacement parts. Um, they're very simple, but they're also very open to the elements. That means changes in ambient temperature, humidity, uh, and throughout the harvest you're putting beans with different moisture contents in. It's a lot of variables for a sample roaster to have to navigate, not to mention the smoke coming out of the drum while you're trying to evaluate its color as well as its smell. So to address some of these challenges for sample roasting, we made this a closed drum system and used a lot of the intuitive design from our ARC 800 model to make sample roasting easier because this is where you find good coffee. This is where you understand the quality of your coffee is in sample roasting. It's how decisions get made. And that really speaks to the accessibility part. A lot of 
coffee producers around the world are not able or have the skill set to evaluate the quality of their own product, which means they are beholden to others and have to believe in good faith um, what they tell them their coffee is worth. So having a sample roaster be accessible uh, from a price standpoint is, was always really important to us. Same is true for coffee roasters. Um, you are giving uh, an importer the power to make your sample roasting decisions for you if you do not have one yourself. Uh, it comes with higher risk. So there's a large power dynamic in the coffee industry about who has access to this technology. Uh, so in all of our travels, we've seen the same two things come up. Either sample roasters are very expensive or they are very cheap and they do not last very long. Functionally, practically speaking, uh, during a harvest, you will need multiple drums to evaluate a large amount of samples that come through. Throughout the harvest, from different lot collections, one part of the mountain to another, um, this, this is really important information from which producers can decide how they want to sell their coffee, how they want to put their coffee together. And to do that, you really do often need uh, multiple drums. So at the core of this design was finding a system that was modular, that could grow as your uh, company grew, whether that's as a roaster or a producer, uh, and also stayed within a price point that wasn't preclusive. So that was a big part of the accessibility piece. But it had to work, it has to work. And we weren't gonna sell something that we didn't believe in. So the quality of the core parts of this machine also had to be there, which is why as an importer, we make all of our purchasing decisions off of this roaster currently so that we can speak to that it does the job that it needs to do. Having better translatability of a sample roast and how you evaluate a coffee means better collaboration between producers and roasters and how they both perceive a coffee's quality. It's just about comparing apples to apples. It's that simple.